playing with the queen of hearts. No, okay, anyways, we're having fun, but the most important thing is what we're doing here today is we are gonna show you how to make this awesome casino tower uh, with a giant jumbo card on top and jumbo card fans all over it in a classic fast pattern spiral. And here we go. Hey guys, Sandy Missouri from Balloon Utopia and Market with Balloons. And today I wanna to show you how to make a really cool casino tower or column or stand or pedestal or tree. People use so many words. So we're just gonna call it a casino tower because why not? Anyway, so to start with, we've got these large cards, and so we're just going to make some card fans, um, you know, like some poker hands, and of course, the royal flush is always everybody's favorite. So um, what we're going to do is we're just going to fan them out like that, and then I've got my handy dandy packing tape and my teeth, <laughs> and I'm just going to, you know, take a piece of packing tape and get it across the cards and try not to put too many fingerprints on the tape while you're doing it. All right. So you want it to be as invisible as possible, but you also want it to be very stable. So of course the back actually won't be seen, so you can go crazy on the back if you want. In fact, sometimes I tape it up on the back and not the front, and I'll like really just tape the heck out of it on the back and not put anything on the front at all to keep it nice. All right, so there we go, that's that's nice and stable. Hey, you, stay, all right? So like that, and don't worry, like people won't really pay attention, even if you do have it like this where you can really see it, people aren't paying attention to that. What they're paying attention to is the whole overall effect. Okay, and we will be using our sticky tabs, which should be in my pocket to warm up. Um, so I'm just gonna stick them back in my pocket so that they can get nice and warm and toasty. All right, and for this, we're just gonna do a classic spiral. So what we got here is I have a duplet of red balloons and a duplet that has one black balloon and one card balloon. Now, normally, I probably would actually use two black balloons with one red and one card balloon because they have a little bit more of the same weight. However, since I'm on a black background, I did not want them to disappear. And I'm using a lamp stand. If you are indoors, this is perfectly fine for, uh, for the column. However, if you are outdoors or in an area that might get heavy traffic or uh, with rambunctious um, drunk adults or something like that, then you probably want to go and find my how to make a balloon column frame video and make your own base plate and pull using that video so that you have a good solid two by two footprint. Anyways, we're just going to take these and quad it up just like that, okay? So now we're going to do a traditional fast spiral, and I've got my friend Darren Sari here who is going to help me so I don't have to hey guys. chase after the balloons too much. Darren, thank you so much for being yeah, here to help. Of course. All right, so the way that we're going to do this is you want to figure out how it's going to go on and then and then like flip one balloon over the other so it keeps it in the pattern. As much as possible, you want to pack it right where it's going to be. You don't want to like put it up here and then try to slide it down because then you're opening yourself up to friction tears. Okay, may I? Thank you so much. All right, and I think that we are going to, um, let's see, I think we'll go around this direction. All right. So you always want to make sure that you're continuing your pattern and the fast pattern spirals That's where it's always a little bit challenging to you know, make sure that you're always staying with your pattern All right, so Darren you'll be my second pair of eyes to make sure that I don't lose my pattern here holding my big giant queen of hearts yeah. and I'm going to do another little lark said not so the lark said not let me hold my balloon for a sec okay I'm just gonna kind of fold it in a loop like that and then I put my fingers through it 
and kind of just like reach around and grab them till I come in like this. So now I've got a little loop. Or, or you could just tie it. My assistant just ties it. And then you just pull it through just like that and tighten it up. Okay, I believe it's called a lark's head knot. You guys can tell me in comments if I'm correct or incorrect. All right, and this one has a uh, definite side. <laughs> All right, and so what we're gonna do, let's see, actually I probably need to come over here so we can get it on camera, right? So what I'm gonna do to tie it on is I'm gonna take these two sides, put it over so that it's got equal pull on both sides, and then I'm going to like work it in there. Now here's the tough part is inside here, what I'm doing is I'm crisscrossing them. Let's see, like that. I'm crisscrossing them. Oh, thanks. Okay, and then I'm gonna tie it. And then I'm gonna go down another layer. You can let that one go. And open this one up here, right, right here, yeah. And I'm crisscrossing it again. And then tying it. Now, I don't normally need somebody to open it for me, but I wanted you to see what I was doing in there with when I have my hand stuffed in, you know, every time that I do columns, and I've got my hand stuffed in there, and you can't see what I'm doing. That is what I'm doing. All right, so now we can let it go, Very and we can just fluff all this out. Okay, so now we have a pretty awesome jumbo, giant column. We want to kind of, like, play with this a little bit to get it straight. So now we've got our card fans. We've got our giant card fans because we want them to kind of be in scale with um, with the piece. And so we're just going to take them and we're going to take our sticky tabs, sticky tabs, and we're just going to go all over the column. We're going to figure out, sorry, where does it touch? And then put some a sticky tab on it. That. And so these ones, since they're big, we want to have them connected in a couple of places. And um, Darren, if you want to just uh, go around the column and add some add some jumbo card fans all over the place. All right. So if you try to prepare it in advance, you may not get where it's actually going to touch the balloon. Oh, okay. So it's it's That's a good point. yeah it's easier to first kind of place it, see where it's touching, and then stick the sticky tab there. Okay. Nice. Yeah, the cards are a great touch. Yeah, I love it when I can bring elements from outside the balloon world into the balloon my balloon pieces. It just adds, I don't know, something I think. And I'm just gonna focus on the front because this one is pretty much a one-sided design just by virtue of it uh, being on camera. And then it'll go against the wall. <laughs> All right, so here we go. We have our awesome Casino column with our casino card print balloons and our jumbo card fans. So there you go. If you like that, I think that way. Yeah. If you like this, and I hope you do, make sure you like this video. Leave me a comment. Tell me what else you want to learn. Hit the subscribe button. Subscribe to my channel. Tell all your friends to subscribe. Tell them to tell their friends to subscribe and everybody else they know. And make sure you head over to Amazon and you pick up some of my books. And uh, you ready? Yeah. Until next time, one, two, three, go, go forth, forth and balloonify! balloonify.